Hello everyone. We have a frequency table showing S scores of 50 students. Now this table tells us that 4 students scored marks between 0 and 10. 6 students scored marks between 10 and 20 and so on. But what if we want to know how many students scored less than 40? Or uh, let's say the teacher wants to reward some of the students who scored good marks. And she wants to know how many students scored more than 50 or what score marks the top 25% of the class. To answer these, we need to go beyond just frequency. We need something called cumulative frequency. Now, as the name suggests, cumulative frequency means adding up frequencies progressively. There are two types of cumulative frequencies. One is less than cumulative frequency or LCF. Now, this will give us the total number of students scoring up to the upper boundary of a class. We'll see what this means in, in a little while. The other type of CF or cumulative frequency is greater than cumulative frequency. This will tell us the total number of students scoring from the lower boundary of a class and above. Let us look into this in detail and also see how to calculate these. Let's first start with LCF, less than cumulative frequency. So we'll start by taking two columns. We can take one on the left, one on the right. In this column, we are going to write the upper boundary of, the, of all the class intervals. And over here, we'll calculate the less than cumulative frequency. So the upper boundary for this class interval is 10. Let's fill in all the upper boundaries for all the class intervals 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Now, in order to calculate pleasant cumulative frequency, we start from the top and then keep adding. For the first class, the LCF is same as the frequency. So, this is 4. For the next class, it is the sum of, because we are going to add the frequencies, sum of this LCF and frequency. So, 4 plus 6, which is 10. For the next class, we are going to add 10 and 10. That is 20. So, see what we are doing over here is we are taking, we are adding 4 to 6. We get 10. Then we add 10 and 10. We get 20. So, now similarly, we will add 20 and 12. And we will get 32. So, we will keep on doing like this. 32 plus cake. That's going to be 40. 40 plus 6. That's 46. And 46 plus 4. That is 50. Right. Since we are adding all of the frequencies and we know there were a total of 50 students, we got 50 over here. Now, what is this telling us? This is basically, this less than cumulative frequency is telling us how, what are the number of students who scored less than 20 marks. So, we have 10 students. What are the number of students who scored less than 50? We have 40 students. If you notice over here, let's say we want to know number of students who scored less than 20. So, less than 20 will be this frequency and this frequency. So, it's one of these two. And that's what we have done over here. Similarly, if I wanted to know students score, who scored less than 60 marks. So, less than 60 will fall in this interval and all the intervals above it. So, what I need is addition of all of these frequencies above this class. And that is what we have done over here. We have added 4, 6, 10, 12, 8, 6 progressively one after the other and we got this 46. So, what we realize is the progressive total of frequencies from the first class to the upper boundary of a particular class. Let's say this class, the upper boundary of this class 60. So, from the first class to the upper boundary of a particular class is the less than cumulative frequency. The progressive total that gives us the less than cumulative frequency from top to bottom. Now, let us see how to calculate greater than cumulative frequency. So, again, we have two columns and in the first column, now we'll write the lower boundary and here we will write the greater than cumulative frequency. Lower boundary is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. For the GF, we'll start from the last class 
and the greater than cumulative frequency same as the frequency which is 4. Now we are going to add 4 and 6 that will give us 10. Next we will add 10 and 8 which will give us 18. So this time what we are doing is we are adding 4 to 6 we get 10, 10 to 8 we get 18. Next we will add 18 to 12 which will give us 30. Then 30 plus 10 is 40, 40 plus 6, 46 and 46 plus 4 which will give us 50. This now greater than cumulative frequency is telling us the number of students who scored more than 10, greater than 10. So 46 students scored greater than 10 marks. Once again, greater than 10, that means students falling in this interval and all the intervals beneath it. So that's the addition of 6, 10, 12, 8, 6, 4, which was 4 to 6. That is what we are doing through this through this GCF, calculating this GCF. So the progressive total of frequencies from the last class to the lower boundary of any particular class is called the greater than cumulative frequency. We'll use this cumulative frequencies further when we are going to calculate, let's say, median or quartiles or also when we want to draw a jives, something that you will learn in near future.